all aboard, it's Jang here with a quick look at the Playmobil Convertible with Woman and Puppy set. This is your basic, small, subcompact car uh, set. Kind of looks like a Peugeot to me personally. Uh, maybe not the most recent versions. A little bit different with the, the shaping of the grille there. But you know, it's just car. <laughs> it's just the simplest, smallest version of a car. It has two seats in it only. And uh, they call it a convertible because the top is down, but it doesn't actually include a top as well. It doesn't include a hard top, you know, like a removable hard top or even a rag top to go up. So it's always going to be down, you know, just something to know. It has the really small wheels and tires on it. The tires are actually nice, though, uh, for something small and cheap. They have a nice tread on them and they're real rubber, so they feel pretty good. No suspension on this doesn't need it. Simple color scheme. The only stickers here are just for the license plates. So one on the back, one on the front, one on the front, one on the back. And it does have a tow hitch. So even though it's a small vehicle, you can actually tow along some pretty large trailers. It's pretty much standard with uh, all of the, the trailers in the Playmobil world. So you could even hook up something very, very large and pull it along with this because, you know, use your imagination. It's all good. Uh, the woman and puppy will both fit into the car itself. You can also put an adult figure in the, the, uh, the passenger seat over there. But I'll take those out so you can see them up more closely. But the interior of this is very simple. It's, it's a little bit cramped right here actually with the extreme rake of the windscreen. Uh, I think smaller you know, kid hands are going to get in there a lot more easily. But uh, if you're a little bit larger or older, it's just a little bit more tricky to get in there. If you do have any trouble getting a figure in or out, especially getting them uh, under the steering wheel there, you can just temporarily take off. It kind of feels like, it kind of feels like breaking it off, but you can take this off. You do want to push it back. Initially, I tried to push it forward. That's wrong. You want to push it back, but that gives you better access in there. And they do include this, this uh, little uh, tote for the dog, so that's specifically designed for dogs, not just a regular uh, shopping bag or something. It has the lower end at this side so that the dog can fit in there and its head can stick out like that. So let's take a closer look at the woman and puppy themselves that make up a large part of the title of the set. A lot of printing, uh, stitching printing with the, the white color uh, used in the, the pants and also the jacket there. Uh, it's kind of a, a low resolution kind of uh, kind of design. You know, it's it's very simplified. I think that darker colors uh, for stitching and, and lines and creases and things uh, look better to me in most cases, but it is good to have some variance and to try some different things. I think it works decently well on the jacket, not so much on, on the pants uh, to me, on, on the legs. The, uh, the hair piece is nice, you know, long and braided up on one side. And the dog is really cool, has really good printing. <laughs> this is a case where white printing works out very well to represent the fluffy areas with the, the white hairs, the white fur, and has a, a nice face on it. And also has some extra uh, white here on the, the tail, which is curled up to one side. So this is the, the side where the tail is. They do make it a little bit extra thick, the tip of the tail, right where it kind of uh, comes over the back. That's just to make sure that it's durable enough that it's not going to, to break off, because if they had made that really wispy, then it would be you know, too easy to, to break. But I think it's a good design, and I appreciate having the print on just one side. Kind of looks better from that side, but makes sense from both. There you can see how it's kind of uh, folded over, a little bit of, of of a tufty furry here at the back of the legs as well. And this one just has the standard uh, articulation for these small animals where you can just have the head up and you can also bring the head down. So if it's sniffing for something or if you have a, uh, you know, a food bowl or a water bowl, you can bring its head down to that. Like I said, it's a very straightforward set. I think that the car is fine. It's a little bit on the plain side. The figure is good and the dog I think is possibly the highlight of the set, just to me personally. I feel like the, the value that you get with this set isn't all that great for the price that I see uh, in, in the US right now. It's about $20 US for this, 
which uh, you know, I just feel like relative to some other things that Playmobil has uh, that you don't get the, the greatest value with this, but it's not too bad. Let me know what you think about the price uh, where you live of this set and if you think it's a decent value or not. And let me know what you think about the set on the whole. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to bring you another video very soon. So I'll catch you later.